B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. 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 That's so much fun. It's education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hi everyone, and welcome to A Plus English. I'm Pat. I'm Kathy. So, Kathy, do you know any stories about farms?、Ah, and what are they? We should, because we、yes. did one a few months ago. <laughs> stories about farms. One is、um, animal farm, which、mm -hmm. we talked about last time. Yes. And there's another called as free as a pig,、okay. which is a true story about a couple who sold their apartment in England. And moved to Exmoor Wilderness. That's, they that's bought, not a good idea. <laughs> they、yeah. bought a land there and had their own farm animals、mm -hmm. and lived a self-sufficient and happy small farm life.、Oh, okay. Pretty interesting.、Mm -hmm. So, what about you, Pat? Ooh,、uh, Charlotte's、mm -hmm. Web. If you've heard、oh, of that one,、yes. it's about a spider who learns to、and、write messages. It's in a movie. Yeah,、Turn、in the web. A yeah, that was made into、mm. a movie. Other stories. I know a lot with scenes that take place on farms,、uh -huh. but you know a lot of animal-related stories like that.、Mm -hmm. But they don't always spend the whole time on the farm.、Mm -hmm. um, one of my favourite authors, probably my favourite author, is、uh, Tolkien, J.R.R. Tolkien.、Uh -huh. One story he wrote was called *Farmer Giles of Ham*.、Mm -hmm. It's about a farmer, and he. Kind of shoots a giant and captures a dragon and、uh -huh. becomes the king of parts of England.、Ooh. It's it's quite a silly story. Got kind of like a fairy tale in a lot、mm -hmm. of ways. But because he's a farmer, a lot of the story takes place、mm -hmm. on his farm, but also in the mountains, in the king's castle, and many other places.、Mm -hmm. But we have a story today. We've got a three-day story article. Most of it takes、mm -hmm. place on a farm, so let's read through day one of our story and find out what happens. Anne of Green Gables. Avonlea is a quiet town in Canada. Matthew Cuthbert and his sister Marilla live there. They own a farm, Green Gables. Matthew is getting old. I have an idea. Says Matthew, "We can adopt an orphan boy to help me do my work." Marilla agrees. Matthew is surprised when he picks the child up from the train station. He discovers the orphanage sent him an eleven-year-old girl by mistake. Her name is Anne Shirley. Anne is energetic and talkative. Matthew doesn't have the heart to send her back, so they decide to let Anne stay at Green Gables. Word power. Quiet. Quiet. The house became quiet after we turned off the TV and went to bed. The house became quiet after we turned off the TV and went to bed. Surprised, surprised. Betty is surprised because her husband is not at work this afternoon. Betty is surprised because her husband is not at work this afternoon. Energetic, energetic. The energetic little dog ran around the park and played with the kids. The energetic little dog ran around the park and played with the kids. Talkative, talkative. Bobby was very talkative and didn't let his friends say anything. Bobby was very talkative and didn't let his friends say anything. Adopt. 
Orphan. Orphanage. So our article begins by saying, Avonlea is a quiet town in Canada. We describe the town as quiet. Q U I E T. Quiet. Now we know the word quiet is an adjective because it's being used to describe the farm or describe the town. It's quiet. Quiet is our first word power word. So let's find out what it means and how we can use it. So the word quiet means with very little sound. It's not noisy. But when we describe a place as quiet, it has an extra meaning that this is a small place without a lot of people or cars, and also where not a lot of things happen. Life just goes on, and nothing much takes place. Here's another example sentence for the word quiet: The house became quiet after we turned off the TV and went to bed. The house became quiet after we turned off the TV and went to bed. 故事开头这边说呢，艾凡利是加拿大当中一个宁静的小镇。这里提到一个字 ，quiet， 就是宁静的地方，不热闹的。例如 ，the sea was quiet before the storm struck. 暴风雨来袭前呢，这个海面非常的安静，或是课课堂中老师会请你安静。Please be quiet. 另外呢，有一个字和 quiet 很像，是 quiet, q u i t e， 意思是相当或是很怎么样的意思。这个字 e 跟 t 刚好位置是相反的，同学们记得不要搞错喽。课文的例句这边说，在我们关掉电视去睡觉之后呢，家里变得非常的安静。So the story kind of continues and says Matthew Cuthbert and his sister Marilla live there. So、mm. in Avonlea. 嗯哼，马修呢，库斯伯特和他的妹妹玛丽拉居住在这里。这里的 there 指的就是 the quiet town. Okay. Next, we learn that they own a farm. Green Gables, which means that's the name of the farm. 嗯哼，他们拥有一座一个农场，叫做翠丽庄园。这里的 own 在这个这边的意思指的是拥有。另外呢，这个 own 也有亲眼目睹的意思，像是 I saw the whole accident with my own eyes. 我亲眼呢看到这次事故整个过程。So working on a farm isn't、嗯、easy. And as we see in the next part of the story, Matthew is getting old. 在农场工作其实并不容易哦。文章告诉我们说，马修越来越老了。Matthew is getting old. So that's the background of the story. So let's get to the events, the stuff that actually happens. We see that I have an idea, says Matthew. 那这样怎么办呢？马修越来越老了，怎么解决这个问题？这时，马修他想到一个主意。他说：“我有一个主意。” So what is his idea? He says,、mm-hmm. "We can adopt an orphan boy to help me do my work." So to adopt a person, usually a child,、mm-hmm. is to become that child's legal parents, even though the child is not yours. We can also talk about adopting a pet. Which is when you look after a cat or dog that lived on the streets. 嗯，马修说呢，我们可以收养一个男孩的孤儿来帮我们做事。Adopt 就是收养、领养 ，orphan 就是孤儿。举个例子 ，Mr. Kern adopted the orphan as his own son. 科恩先生呢，将那孤儿收养为自己的儿子。那如果是把自己的小孩送人收养，英文可以说 to have one's baby adopted. Yeah, we also mentioned an orphan in that last sentence. An orphan is a child whose parents have died. We only really use the word for children. Not we don't usually use it for adults whose parents die later in life.、Mm-hmm. So here, Matthew and Marilla they will adopt an orphan. Yeah, that's right. Back to the story. And what does Marilla think of the idea? We see that. Marilla agrees. 嗯，马修先生提出这个 idea 的时候，玛丽拉怎么想呢？文章说她同意了。She agrees with this idea. So now it's time to introduce the orphan, who is our main character. 
we see that Matthew is surprised when he picks the child up from the train station. So let's pause for a moment here to explain the word surprised. S U R P R I S E D. Surprised, which is an adjective and our next word power word. Huh? What happened? That is being surprised. If you're surprised, something happened and you didn't expect it. Maybe you thought something else would happen. Now we always use the ed form of this word, surprised, to describe how a person feels. If we're describing something that surprises you, we say it as surprising. Here's an example using surprised. Betty is surprised because her husband is not at work this afternoon. Betty is surprised because her husband is not at work this afternoon. 当马修到火车站呢接这个小孩的时候，他感到很惊讶。先来看今天第二个 word power word surprised 惊讶的、诧异的，是个形容词，表示一个人面对事情的时候他的情绪。例如 ，I was surprised to learn that he was ta-、uh, taking drugs. <笑>听说他在吸毒，我非常的吃惊哦，很惊讶。那课文的例句这边说。Betty 感到很惊讶，因为她的先生今天下午没有去上班。So we see that Matthew is surprised when he goes to the train station. That's right. We use the conjunction when to talk about a time at which something happens. When is a good word for linking ideas and giving a time frame to a story, as it puts events in the right order. When 这个连接词和时间有关，我们会用 when 来表示一件事情发生是在什么特定的时候。例如 ，John got engaged to her when traveling last winter. 去年冬天旅行时，约翰和她订婚了。这个时候用 when 就强调出 last winter 这个时间点了。Why does Matthew go to the train station? Well, he goes there to pick up the orphan.、Oh. Now here. Pick up is used to mean to go to a place、mm-hmm. to collect someone and then bring them back to their home or your home. For example, parents pick their kids up from school,、mm-hmm. or you might pick someone up at a train station or an airport.、Mm-hmm. Pick 这个字呢，指的是挑选、选择的意思。但是如果后面加上 up， 变成 pick up。意思就是接送某人了，通常指的是用交通工具接送。呃，接送啊，口语的用法会是 I'll pick you up after school. 我放学后呢来接你。But why is Matthew surprised? Well, the story says he discovers the orphanage sent him an eleven-year-old girl by mistake. An orphanage is a place where orphans, remember that word, live. Until someone adopts them. Hmm. He found the orphanage sent him a eleven-year-old girl. Orphanage is an orphanage. By mistake, it is mistake, accidentally. He originally told the orphanage to send him a girl, but he sent a boy. So the orphanage did this by mistake. Exactly, as Kathy Main、uh, explained, if you do something by mistake,、mm-hmm. you didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. It、mm-hmm. just happened. Maybe the orphanage was going to send a boy who could do the hard work on the farm,、mm-hmm. but there was a mistake, and a girl was sent. Here,、mm-hmm. by mistake 指的是非故意的、非有意的，就是不小心送错人了。可能本来的确是要送马修一个男孩，但不小心出错了，所以就送一个女孩过来。What do we learn about this girl? Well, we see that her name is Anne Shirley. 嗯，文章说这个女孩的名字叫做安妮·雪莉。We also see that Anne is energetic、mm-hmm. and talkative. We have a couple of word power words to look at here. Two more adjectives. First is the word energetic. E N E R G E T I C, energetic. Let's check it out. An energetic person has a lot of energy. They always want to be doing something, and they don't easily get tired. However, energetic people might get bored quickly. Kids are often called energetic 
as they have lots of energy. Here's another example. The energetic little dog ran around the park and played with the kids. The energetic little dog ran around the park and played with the kids. 文章告诉我们说，安妮呢充满活力，而且很健谈。我们来看一个重要的形容词 ，energetic， 充满活力的，精力旺盛的。举个例子 ，He is an energetic tennis player. 他是个精力充沛的网球手。要形容一个人，呃，活力充沛呢，充满活力，还有另外一个用法叫做 full of energy。那课文的例句这里说，这只充满活力的小狗在公园到处奔跑，跟小孩子们玩耍。We also describe Anne as talkative. That's right. Talkative is spelled T-A-L-K-A-T-I-V-E. Talkative. Let's find out what it means. A talkative person likes to talk. They love to talk. They will talk to anyone about anything. Sometimes we might say that they talk too much. When a talkative person has a thought or an idea, they want to say it out loud as soon as they can. They don't keep their thoughts to themselves. Here's an example. Bobby was very talkative and didn't let his friends say anything. Bobby was very talkative and didn't let his friends say anything. 这里我们来看另外一个形容安妮的形容词，就是 talkative， 多话的、健谈的。这个字呢也很好记。同学们看到 talk 就是讲话，你可以联想到 talkative 就是喜欢说话的。课文例句这边说呢 ，Bobby 的话非常多，他不让他的朋友们说话。But Matthew didn't want a girl to work on his farm. So what happens? Well, we see in the story that Matthew doesn't have the heart to send her back.、Mm. If you don't have the heart to do something, you don't want to do it because it will make you feel bad, even if it's the right thing to do. You know that doing it. Will hurt someone's feelings. 嗯，这里有一个片语叫做 not have the heart to， 后面加动词，不忍心怎么样 ？Matthew doesn't have the heart to send her back. 看到安妮呢这么 energetic and talkative， 马修不忍心将安妮送回去孤儿院。So if they send Anne back, Anne will be upset. Yeah, that's right.、Mm -hmm. I mean, she was looking forward to having a home and a family.、Mm -hmm. Now, in that sentence, we also use the phrasal verb "send back," "send someone back." We could say to send something back as well, and it means to return it to where it、mm -hmm. came from. We often use it if we buy something online, but it's damaged or there's something wrong with it when it arrives at your house. So you want to return it. You send it back to the company, maybe by mailing it or taking it to the Seven Eleven. Hmm. Annie, she was looking forward to having a home and a family. 她一直很期待有家人跟一个家。如果这时候被送回孤儿院呢，肯定会非常伤心。Send someone back, 将某人送回到原本的地方。如果呢是你买东西要退货，可以用 return 这个字。Return goods. So Matthew and Marilla let Anne stay. That's right. We see. So they decide to let Anne stay at Green Gables. 嗯，文章说他们就决定让安妮留在翠绿庄园。这里的 they 就是马修和玛丽拉。That's the end of the first part of the story. So let's go to today's magic box first, and then we'll be back for our review time. Hello, 大家好，我是 Isaac。前几天呢，当我下班回到家的时候啊，我站在家门口，我摸摸我的口袋跟包包，竟然发现啊，我忘记带家里的钥匙出门嘞。When I came home, I found that I didn't have my keys. 刚好那那几天啊，又是寒流来，天气真的是非常的冷，而且啊，我手机刚好又没有电啊，真的是屋漏偏逢连夜雨啊。等了一个小时，我爸妈才回来，就是帮我开门。现在想起来真的是非常的惨。那在刚刚那个例句里面呢，我们讲到了 when 当连接词的用法，表示当点点点的时候。
那在使用 when 的时候呢，要特别小心哦。它是一个连接词，用来连接前后两个完整的句子。那基本上这两个句子的时态都要是一致的。只不过呢 ，when 除了可以放句首之外，当然它也可以放在句中。那只是差别，只是说我们放在句首的时候，两个句子的中间要加上逗点哦。所以刚在我说的那个例句当中呢 ，When I came home， 逗点。I found that I didn't have my keys. 那大家注意到，就是 when 放句首的时候，中间刚才我有加上一个逗点来把两个句子隔开。那这句话呢，其实我也可以把 when 放到句中变成 I found that I didn't have my keys when I came home. 那建议大家出门前还是要再仔细检查包包有没有带了钥匙，不然就会跟我一样，就是被锁在家门外喽。好，那大家还记得刚刚我讲 when 的这个用来连接前后两个时态一样的句子的这个文法吗？但是有一个时态是一个例外，大家猜猜看是哪一个时态？没错，就是我们所谓的未来式哦。那当 when 呢用来连接两个未来式的句子的时候呢，由 when 所引导的那个句子，我们要用现在式来代替未来式哦。那我们赶快来造一个句子吧。When it stops raining, I will play basketball with my friends. 当雨停的时候呢，我就会跟我的朋友去外面打篮球啦。那大家有发现我刚刚说的 when it stops raining 这边的这个 stops 是一个现在式的动词。那第二个句子 I will play basketball with my friends 则是一个未来式的句子。所以喽，大家记得，如果今天为 when 呢用来表示呃未来的情况的话，记得 when 后面那个句子要用现在式来代替未来式哦。最后，让我们来复习一下 when 的用法吧。如果我要说，当你写完作业的时候，你就可以玩电脑了，那这句话的英文该怎么说呢 ？The answer is, when you finish your homework, you can play computer games, or you can play computer games when you finish your homework. 你答对了吗？ Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。So today we looked at the word surprised,、mm-hmm. and we talked about the difference between surprised and surprising. One is for how you feel. One is for the thing and how you describe it. We have some words here, all verb forms in this hat. They can make the ed and the ing adjectives.、Mm-hmm. So we're going to pick out a few, and then Kathy and I will make sentences. And you're going to do the ed version.、Yes. I will do the ing. So、okay. we have here、uh, the one from today's article:、mm-hmm. surprise. So you do a surprised. I、okay. do a surprising. Okay. I felt surprised when I noticed that Tom quit his job yesterday. Okay, and I will say the movie had a surprising ending.、Mm. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, let's look at another example. We have tire, so tired, tiring. Tired. Okay, I felt tired after、um, I went swimming for three thousand, three thousand me-、uh, meters. Like, meters. Meters. Meters.、Like. Yeah, that'll do it.、Um, okay, <laughs> working on a farm all、mm-hmm. day is. Hiring, as I'm、It、sure、is. Matthew from our story knows. We'll do one last one. We have confused, so、mm. confused and confusing. Okay, I was confused when I saw her、um, on on the street、mm-hmm. in in the shop. Right. But after one minute, she disappeared. Well, that would that that is indeed <laughs> confusing.、Um, I could say. <laughs> English is so confusing. Won't it someone make it simple? Yes. All right. That is the end of today's article, but not the end of the story. Join us again tomorrow for part two. See you then. Bye for now. Bye. Anne of Green Gables. Avonlea is a quiet town in Canada. Matthew Cuthbert and his sister Marilla live there. They own a farm, Green Gables. Matthew is getting old. I have an idea, says Matthew. We can adopt an orphan boy to help me do my work. Marilla agrees. Matthew is surprised when he picks the child up from the train station. He discovers the orphanage sent him an eleven-year-old girl by mistake. Her name is Anne Shirley. 
Anne is energetic and talkative. Matthew doesn't have the heart to send her back, so they decide to let Anne stay at Green Gables. Word power. Quiet. Quiet. The house became quiet after we turned off the TV and went to bed. The house became quiet after we turned off the TV and went to bed. Surprised, surprised. Betty is surprised because her husband is not at work this afternoon. Betty is surprised because her husband is not at work this afternoon. Energetic, energetic. The energetic little dog ran around the park and played with the kids. The energetic little dog ran around the park and played with the kids. Talkative, talkative. Bobby was very talkative and didn't let his friends say anything. Bobby was very talkative and didn't let his friends say anything. Adopt. Orphan. Orphanage.